I made my own sketchbook. So I finished my sketchbook, my previous sketchbook, something that I had been working on for about six months, and I filled it up, finished it, and what I've been doing is each time I fill a sketchbook and I go to start a new one, I want to try like a new paper, uh, a new brand, a new, just to kind of renew the experience so that it's not like the same recurring theme. So this time I decided to make my own. And actually, here it is, right? And you're going to watch me make it. I'm going to make it and then show you how I made it. I don't know. Cue the next. Cue me making it. Let's start this little video off by saying that this is not a tutorial. In no way is this a tutorial. I'm not going to show you how to make a sketchbook, but you're going to watch me make my sketchbook. If you want a tutorial, I'll show you, I'll send a link, not send a link, there will be a link in the description of the tutorial that I watched. It's by C. Lemon, and she did a very good job of explaining everything, and I followed step by step by step and just did everything that she said and she shows very good at showing exactly what what to do and it's good it's good so I'll leave that in there and you can follow that and you can do it and of course you gotta start by I ripped these pieces of paper in half and just I just folded it in half and just used the bone folder which is my new tool that I got to buy I've actually made one of these before um, and I followed this tutorial but I didn't have any of the supplies and in fact the only thing that I had that was actually in the list of supplies needed is this pad of paper I had a pad of paper and it was actually two partially used pads of paper so I split them in half you know I took the paper that was left in them and then folded it in half and then used what I could so I was like jabbing holes in the paper with like a pencil it was kind of is really bad no <laughs> I actually used the inside like the guts of a shoestring um, to make the to bind it all together the very first time and actually the very first this is the second sketchbook that I made and the first one I actually made for my wife probably about a year ago and she actually used it as a journal um, and she filled it up in like a month so she loved it it was great and this one I took a little bit of a different approach to I decided to actually draw on the cover, of course. So I'm drawing on the cover. I'm just taking it, same approach as I usually do with my art, with my drawing. I just draw, just kind of mindlessly, just kind of let my feelings and my emotions take over and just really embrace it. And I will say, I will admit that I was getting a little bit disheartened because I didn't think that it was looking good. I thought it was looking like a bunch of jumbled mess. And I was getting a little bit frustrated, but eventually I just kind of stopped. I paused, and I actually took a break. I went outside, walked outside, and then took the whole drawing experience outside and just started working, you know, in a different scene, a different whatever. And I saw something, and I kind of ran with it. So it was good to take a break when I was getting frustrated at the drawing itself. So it was really nice. Um, so that is that is actually something I would suggest if you are creative, you're doing something frustrated with it, obviously take a break, walk back to it, and then jump right back on it. And I was able to see something, you know, I, was, I couldn't see this face that I ended up seeing. I, I ended up seeing it after I took a break. Um, but I was so swamped in by, like, it looking bad at first. But anyway, um, I did... I really enjoyed this. Actually, what I've been doing recently is I've been waking up really early, um, making some coffee, or me and me or my wife has been making the coffee. So we just make coffee and we just wake up before Asher does. You know, wake up before everyone else, and just sit there and either draw, write, listen to the birds. Just kind of take it easy for a little while because we do have a three-year-old, and life is crazy sometimes so <laughs> we got to take advantage of you know I took this it was like two hours I sat here and made this journal or this uh, sketchbook I sat there for a couple hours and sat here and made it and it was a good time it was fun had a lot of fun with it and obviously I'm doing something I really really love uh, actually I struggled a little bit with the drawing on the bottom half past the neck 
the neck portion was a bit of a stretch to make it work, but I made it work, and then the bottom half kind of, it took me some finagling to get the collar right. It's something I've always struggled with is clothing. Um, but honestly, it ended up, once I finished, it ended up being one of my favorite parts is the the blacked out cloak thing that he ended up wearing is one of my favorite parts of it. Uh, so yeah, this is the cover. And the cover is just the back of this pad of paper. It's the cardboard cardboard backing of the paper um, of the pad. And I just, you know, you use that and then you cut it in half and then you just do it up. You do it to it, right? So um, some materials that I ended up using for the drawing, uh, just my technical pen. Uh, I think it was my .5, maybe? And I used my Sharpie, and my technical pen ended up running out of ink, so I ended up using my Twisby Eco, my fountain pen, the one right now. And then also I ended up using some glitter gel pen, my, uh, my Jelly Roll pen, and that was pretty much it. And then we ended up with a product, an end result. And it ended up looking really, really, really cool. I enjoyed it. Moving right along, just mark the center on both ends of the paper and slice it in half. <laughs> you know, usually I figured I'd be real nervous about doing this, but I was super stoked about slicing my drawing in half. It was a whole lot of fun. Having a little bit of trouble with it, but got her done in the end. Got it done. Come on, man. Slice it. Slice it up. Yeah. There it is. Cool. And then obviously from there, I got that's going to be the front and the back of the sketchbook. And so I take my folded pieces, I bind them or add them into, what she call them? I forget what she called them. Oh no. Uh, paragraphs. No, 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 no. What she call this? The grouping of paper. You group it like, in total there was 25 sheets. Uh, and you group them in five, so five sets of five. God, I can't think of what it's called. But anyway, she'll tell you exactly what it is that I'm doing. I'm grouping it in you know, five sheets of paper in all. This will make 10 signatures, which makes the book 160 pages. Here I'm marking all of the signatures. Signatures are called signatures. I'm marking where I'm going to be cutting all of the, uh, punching the holes in, getting ready to weave the yarn or the string in and out of it, getting ready to bind it all together. And also you got to do it to the front cover and the back cover. And here it says you need to use an owl, an A-W-L, an owl, a owl, owl. But I used my little knife I had on hand. That's, that's what I had, so I was going to use it. And I had already spent a little bit more money than I wanted to on the project. Um, but And also I couldn't find it at Michael's, so I just did it. And punch all the holes. Again, use an owl, owl, whatever they're called, A-W-L. Use that if you have it. But I just punched, I just started the hole with the knife and then took this round, blunt edge, large needle and pushed it through with some help of a putty scraper. <laughs> so just use what you have on hand, you know, if you don't have what it needs. Hmm? Yeah? Hmm? A hammer, a kid. A key? A kid, a kid. A kid? I did make a kid. Asher. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. After all the signatures are pierced, you can begin binding. Being that I live in an apartment complex and uh, have made friends with some of the kids around here, they like to watch me do the things that I do. I do all kinds of cool creative stuff. I can, uh, apparently I can fix anything, as they say, so they like to sit and watch me. But unfortunately, it started raining really bad and my project started to get wet, so I had to move back indoors. And unfortunately, most of this stuff ended up being off-screen, the binding of the sketchbook. But again, it wasn't, this isn't a tutorial, so you're just going to sit here and watch me do it. Yeah. 
And but yeah, so we just going to do it and I'm going to keep referring to her video if you want to make this. If you want to make one of these for yourself, just simply go watch her video. And also keep in mind you can use a shoestring for to bind these books. You cut open a shoestring and use the little particles, the little guts on the inside of that shoestring. That's what I did. And I just cut the two ends off, cut the aglets off, and just ripped it on out of there and used that to bind, the, bind it together. So you don't need all this special technical equipment, whatever. Since I am a, a bit of an artist, I consider myself, and I had fun the first time, so I went ahead and bought some string, and I went ahead and bought you know a bone folder and all, just to make multiples of these because this is how i'm probably going to start making i'm probably going to make all my sketchbooks and all my journals from now on at least a good portion of them so uh, this part actually is the most tedious the most annoying part because you can get confused if you don't follow exactly what she does it gets a little bit wonky it gets a little frustrating the but it's you know you keep at it and it'll work and the end result is very very cool it's very cool. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the whole process. And there's endless customization with it, you know. And this time I decided to draw on the front. The next time I might just sticker bomb it. Who knows? I don't know. But this is very much a very fun, creative thing to do. And if you want to do it, then do it. I just want to show you it is a very much a possibility if you want to do something like this. You don't have to spend $20, $30 on paper that's super nice whatever a sketchbook you can make it and it's unique it is a little bit i'm a little bit disappointed in the fact that the eyeball got completely covered up by a, a string and also i may have tightened it a bit too tight right here it kind of like pulled it in cinched it in real tight um but this thing is gonna wear i don't know how it's gonna wear like i'm gonna throw it in my backpack i'm gonna throw it just, I'm gonna treat it like I would any of my other sketchbooks, so, and see what happens. There you have it. There you have it. It's super simple, super easy. Go follow the, the Sea Lemons tutorial on it. This right here is not perfect by any means. I had to definitely, definitely had to make do with what I had. And I'm excited about it. I'm super stoked about it. And honestly, I was thinking about um, selling these. I've got some more paper. I've got another one of these um, things. And so I was thinking about drawing on it just the same as I did and sell the next one. And who knows? Whatever. Let me know if you want to buy one. Let me know. I'll make it. And I'll, I'll sell it to you for sure. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you like this sketchbook and you want to see the contents on the inside of it, what's to come in the future, subscribe. Like the video. Do all the cool stuff. So... I'll see you guys later. Hunt Studio. My name is Hunter. Peace.